first thing that happens when people come here is there's a sense of like an exhalation of everything, of breath, of stress. And then they turn and they see the Hudson River and the Palisades and it's this wow moment. It's like, oh. The gardens that are Wave Hill today were made out of an assemblage of, of estates uh, starting in the 1890s. And those gardens that were given to the city in 1960 were remade by Marco. Uh, my name is Marco Polo Stefano. For 34 years, I was the director of horticulture here at Wave Hill. When you're making gardens so often, it's, it's, a, it's a sculptural thing. People always worry about color. Color is not as important as, as shapes and forms. And that, it's all about architecture. It just so happens that the architecture is living. Wave Hill feels like your own private garden. That was one of, the, one of the things we wanted to maintain, was the sense of being a private garden, which I think it still maintains today. There are kids running around, playing, and it's, it's one of the most fun things about being here is watching that. You can sit curled up with a book in some corner of the garden and never be disturbed. You can run around barefoot, roll down the hills. Uh, it's a completely casual, intimate, and beautiful place. Do I have a favorite tree? Well, I don't know, sitting where we're sitting and looking in the, to the north there, how could I not say that the American elm over there isn't my favorite tree? Above me right now is one of the biggest American elms in the city. When you stand under it and look up, uh, you feel <laughs> like an ant. Just explore. There's no agenda. There's nothing to rush to. You don't have to be anywhere at a particular time to join a group or to just explore. There are so many things to do here at Wave Hill on any given day all year round. A very specialized contemporary art program of exhibitions, outdoor installations, performing arts, both indoor and out, all kinds. Uh, we have a robust education program, many, many different kinds of environmental programs for families and for individuals. You can learn to paint, you can learn <laughs> to draw, you can have lunch out on the terrace. But I think the one of the most important things about being here is that you can do nothing. You can just step outside of time, rest your mind, awaken your senses, and be here. People make a deep personal connection with this place. And they come to it through various avenues, some through the gardens, some, some through the arts, some through the programs. But once they make that connection, it's lifelong. When we leave the greenhouses and the potting shed to go home for the day, sun is just setting on the Palisades and you get this grand streak of orange sunset over the river. It's such a special time of day. The sun is setting, the birds are settling, the light is incredible. It's, it really is like being home. <laughs>